So we can watch some more Eno, right? Maybe we can watch this one, the Ram versus Eno set, and then maybe watch this winner's final set. Or maybe watch these two, actually. Okay, let's watch this one first. What's, what's, what's happening here in this? What did he just, he just heard about Teresa? <laughs> This is also, by the way, this is the first week. In case you guys don't know, you can answer every week. It's free to answer. There's a match Reno. I think ICFC is on PlayStation. I'm pretty sure. This stage in these colors, I know. I don't even think I've ever seen white, like the white soul outfit. He has brown hair, so it's better than most of them. It's coming home has entered the room. Oh boy. Oh no, that was tragic actually. This is a matchup that we've seen a lot of, and I'm gonna talk about it later, but this matchup, like, I think a lot of Soul players have been real grumpy about Axel. That's tra that's traditional. In the old games, it's more because of not only just the zoning, but 2K is a menace, right? This shit is a menace in the older ones. Not as much in this game, but uh, yeah, obviously burst out. Is 2K is not as big of a, a menace in this game, but it's the zoning. Nice punish. That is, okay, so one thing I've seen a lot of people not uh what's it called not punish well as vortex they block vortex and they're like 2p this move is really negative it's like minus 16 or something it's very negative so you got to punish with something juicy that could have been more but you know we'll take that we'll take that only minus 16 bro yeah that 2h is really good in this game too by the way i love that 5p that was so good i love this 5p to check the uh jump right here Normally, like at this range too, you know, t 2S might not hit if you hit it too early. And 6K is a little harder to hit sometimes. I love that 5P Anthea. That was great. Yeah, interrupts the Vortex. His his ability to control Souls forward movement in this game, to me, feels better than other games because of uh, 2H. I think his 2H is so good in this game. Ombi with the classic Ombi combos. Yeah, dead. It doesn't matter. You do all the zoning and then soul hits you and you explode. This combo mid screen is like the most ombi thing I've ever seen. Just jump dust, it doesn't hit the wall, and he just runs up. <laughs> yeah, that was two two uh nasty hits back to back. I I make fun of Ombi because every time I see him play, I look at his combos. I'm just like, yep. Well nice. That was all in Snake's field through most of that, and then some hit him once. Yeah. This is bad. In the corner early. Round start, he uh, he couldn't get space. That is very unsafe, too. You have to be careful about that. Oh, interesting. Instead of taking Snail off the 2D, just ran and then air dashed out. That was really an interesting uh, idea. I wonder if that's something we're going to see a lot or if it was just like a miss. Yeah, it doesn't take the clean hit DP. Excuse me? Oh, you're dead. You're not dead. You're not dead again because of burst. Good double jump. That was smart. That's some, oh, you could have killed him again. Ombi, are you okay? So a couple of things. I love the double jump backwards here. It's because of the up follow from Rensen. You notice how it just completely whiffs, right? It just completely misses out of the way. If he had continued forward, then you would just get clipped by the Rensen follow up and then get dragged in and then you have to deal with all the pressure after, right? So after this, you can OTG 6H and kill as well. But I just maybe didn't recognize. Getting, using the bandit, it's kind of hard to see in the heat of the moment, it. honestly. Yeah, Axel, I think, has one of the better grounded Antias that's not 6P to punish Bandit Bringer. And, and it's 2S. 2S is really good against Air Bandit Bringer, actually. There's not that many moves that I think are as good as grounded normals for dealing with Bandit Bringer. So that's pretty nice for him. It's very very useful in this matchup to deal with that. I mean, honestly, it's just a good move in general, right? When he does jump... Uh, 2S is just a really good anti-air. He gets great damage off of it. It has quite high reward for just like a regular anti-air button that he hits. 2S needs buffs. Yeah, souls 2S, I agree. Nasty in this game. Oh, yeah, early burst. I wonder if at that range, Snail just won't work, and that's why you can't hit this. Like, maybe Snail just doesn't hit here. Yeah. Block the Rens and dash. I like the approach jump. angle here from Ombi. I like the way he navigates here. I think this is quite smart. He jumps, right? He's looking for maybe Rensen or something. Jumps, run run into neutral jump so you get a little bit more momentum. And then I love this. 
We saw this 5p anti here the other round, right? You saw the 5p anti here to try to deal with soul in mid-range before. But as you know, when Soul runs, this motherfucker ducks his head. You see how he's ducking? He doesn't run like the GNC guy. Like, dude, you look huge. He he runs. Right? So that is one of the most useful things about him is he can just get under 5P. Kind of a nasty RC, but you know. Oh, oh no. In the corner, you don't have to do that route. You can just do Gunflame into Vortex. All charge characters when they do run, run block is like... Yeah, a couple of misconfirms really costing this round, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a miscombo, combo, but life goes on. A couple of misconfirms really, I think, cost on me from winning that round, probably. That explosion is so active. Like, sometimes I'll get hit, knocked down. Damn, that 5p hit? Yeah, that's a guaranteed challenge after this. I tested this in Trinity mode. Far slash here, you can't jump. If you're Axel and you try to jump after this, it is a it is a challenge. You, if you're trying to up back, you get hit grounded, which is what I think you probably try to do. Tail end of that explosion, it's really deceptive. If you reversal timing the far slash, it's like minus minus six or something, minus seven. The whatever it's called. Oh, that could have been a confirm, but that move. Although you know, you can also jump and punish it. I lab that too. It's not as easy. Nice. We haven't seen a single command throw so far. Oh. <laughs> the drift away it was like just didn't believe in in uh in the head like did 6h and was like i'm out of here if you drift forward you might win the round there right it might have just killed the combo nice ah oh, too late on the rensen but i mean you got the explosion anyway yeah maybe just not having charge there or the counter hit slow down eating the rensen attempts i'm not sure yeah, I think that burst for position makes a lot of sense. Jump H, yeah. You can't, if you're soul, you you kind of can't contest this very easily. Like this jump H this high. You know, this is kind of like, you can't really 5k this. You might be able to 6p it. I feel like it'll clash. This is not easy for him to just hit a button into. So this is a really good plan if you're Snake Belmont. That's a tight name. Keep the corner position. No, uh, no RC, but this should be RC in a death, right? Or not, or not, or not. You, I cannot believe you did not spend any meter. How did you not kill him like the four times you had a chance to kill him? Oh, okay, dead, right? Why? Okay, all right. Uh, none of that needed to go like that. It didn't have to be like that. You could just throw it. He's here with us all. But I think, I think for the first one, maybe RC could have killed. I'm not sure if, like, nice. His far slash is really good, actually. Axel far slash. I'm kind of surprised. Every time I see it, I'm like, man, that button is pretty solid. Nice. Yeah, six S or two S. I mean, it's so good. It's such a. It's one of those buttons where every time I see it, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Punish. Yeah, even though the RC happened there, you know, unless you're going to DP, Axel's button is still out. Jump back S. Beautiful. That is uh, something in this matchup. You don't even have to really be ready against Gunflame. You just jump and then tag him. Free counter hit. You know, you get a little bit of damage. It's very useful, honestly. In this matchup, it's it's great. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no, there it is again. I was about to say doing Jump back H. Yep. I love it. I love that bomber. I wish there was a Rensen or a Punish. Oh, you air blocked it. Oh, you might die. Don't hit a button there. Yeah, don't hit a button. Okay, okay, okay. Jump back H, I'm telling you. This is the juice right here. This move is very useful in the corner against Soul. This move is really... I mean, honestly, I would guess in general. I don't know how many characters have a good answer that stops jump H. Can you not DP it? It will probably clash, I would guess. But maybe he can try. But then if Axel just like double jumps forward out of the corner and you just whiff the DP, then you're in trouble. Nice, there, you got the confirm he was trying last time. Oh no. It's back up again. It's like 50%. One more hit, that's it. Okay. Not that hit. Yeah, this is just, I mean, this is just far slash H, far slash H. Nice, air to air. Dead, nice, that was good. Ground contesting this is not the way. I love this jump forward air to air. Like how many interactions was it in a row that he lost? The uh, air to ground. It was like four or five, right? I'm just seeing snake. Essen. I'm Essen with the best of them. OTG. I think cl close slash OTG is maybe better there, right? 
and Ambi being really smart with the burst. Pop. Yeah, the slowdown gives you that as a combo. Nice. That is so good. You get look at how much screen space you get here. Out of the corner suddenly. This is so good. YRC, I love that choice. Get the space. Oh, the last hit. That's so bad. Okay. I mean, you have a chance here. It's not a big chance. But you have a chance. Nice double jump to avoid it. Oh my god. No way. YRC. Yeah, of course. <gasps> you did not command throw point blank and it did not hit no way i can't believe it <laughs> yeah i'm shocked that is that's like the bravest command throw of all time to be fair i feel like snake belmont that name is tight snake belmont has actually landed so many command throws it's been like so consistent delayed pop uh-huh that's a punish yeah, I like how consistently it's been 5S punish too, because you need to do 5S, right? You, you can't just give up a 5K punish on that. You gotta make it hurt. Dude, he is getting tagged. He is just getting tagged. I love not doing the rinse and pop. Oh, that's a punish. Nowhere to go. I love this zoning round. I love that there's just no rinse and pop. Like, it's just like, do the rinse and and then don't do the pop and then just hit 2h and then do the rensen and then hit 2h like i love that there was no pop because as you approach against this character in this game you're waiting for rensen pop rensen pop or like some follow-up and when he doesn't do the follow-up then you're like oh i should run for and there's already a 2h out to stop you from getting in right it's so good it's like is you have to do it and yeah that was really well played i love it yeah you don't have to do a follow-up off rensen right like you can oh you can success that i think actually run success might have punished that i like that backdash too mid-screen backdash is quite good there if you um if you don't think he's gonna commit to like um whatever it's called success or fafner or something to chase it if you think soul is gonna just hit 5h or something which anbi has been doing good challenge 2h again whiff and that's dead I love that combo route too. Very burst safe. Yeah. Where could you burst here, right? Like you're, you build burst. Look at where he built burst back, right? With punish, you build burst back right here, and the Rensen is going to kill you. So, you know, you're kind of in a weird spot. Burst and gets away from it, and then you're safe. Like that was a safe burst. But then, yeah, tries to send it with Vortex and 2H. Or actually, Rensen just hits. You tell the frustration on 5P 2K, Rensen? You mean 5P uh, 6K? It's not easy to do. That's just, uh, that's how the matchup goes sometimes. I think Soul versus Axel, it's really just like, it's a bit of a grind, right? I feel like Delayed Explosion might have caught the burst. You might be right, but might have just been mashing it because it was going to win, you know? Okay, let's watch Amino. Yamini, that's a cool name, versus Kendi. All right, let's check it out. I, uh, when I played Eno, I was like, man, this matchup, I don't know what to do. So I'm kind of interested in seeing what the approach is. My guess is a lot of stroke and uh, a lot of jump and then air dash. This is my guess. We'll see ya. Oh no, early hit, go low. I think you just go low. I think when I play Eno and when I watch people play Eno, I feel like you just go low. I don't know if it's just me, but air dash, 2K, 6H, you know, I think this is what you just do. This shit's if you have super, go overhead. If you don't have super, go low. That's just what I do. I feel like it always works. Her 6P is probably useful in this matchup, too. I forgot that 6P. Yes, her 6P is nasty, actually. Yeah, jump back dive. That is huge, by the way. That is one of the scariest things about this, this corner confirm. Jump back dive, first of all, is really useful. Catches basically any forward movement or button. It's really good. And then this situation, jump K, jump dust, double overhead. And then you do the heavy uh, command dash or heavy um, uh, dive. You get the position in the corner. Next hits wall splat. Oh, I think try to throw there maybe or command grab. Yeah, no combo. I think just one of the corner position. Oh, no. Jump dust. Bam. That's not going to kill, and it resets you to neutral. That's kind of interesting. I feel like maybe was the situation better not to RC the throw and just take the Oki into the pressure with super? Because that might have killed. Mm, I guess it worked out. My question is, with throw, is it better to do note into 50-50, and if the 50-50 hits, you, like, you know, super to kill? 
Is that better than taking the RC combo that's not going to kill but resets you back to neutral? It might depend on the matchup. Against Ram, I feel like trying to kill her is better than resetting to neutral. But it's hard to say, right? I think that decision is hard to make the right choice. Or who knows what the right choice is. Heavy stroke. Good move. Especially when Ram loses a sword, I imagine that the value of using stroke a lot goes up a lot. You're just like, yep. You've managed blue on wow, you can 6P that? I wonder if that's, that's universal. That's I should test that. Like sort of Punish? Oh, no. I think that was supposed to be 5K or 2K into it. Great choice. So, yeah. This is the same thing that uh, any any move that low profiles, you can do this. When the sword's out on the on the, on the the air like this, is a smart choice because stroke goes completely under this button, right? Completely under. So you don't have to care, right? So unless she's going to like 2S or hits like, you know, some crouching button to stop the stroke, you know, you just stroke under that and you're like, yep. Two ass chemical love, heavy stroke. One of the most important things about Eno, you see this air dash here, right? So she's air dashing it, she's sending it. One of the most important things about the position you see on the screen as a fighting against Eno is as she's taking this arc, you know she's gonna hover dash forward. People will hit buttons in this space to try to contest it, right? Cause they're like, okay, she's air dashing at me. And what Eno can do is either continue to choose like going on this route and then dive kick or Air dash up and then air dash down, or do what uh, Kendi did here, which is land and then stroke. And that, honestly, most of the moves that hit anti air are weak to stroke, right? So, like, this is something, this is like a ba very basic but important thing to understand about the Eno game plan is that they're gonna land and then do stroke because it's good against whatever anti air move you try or whatever, right? So, it's quite common. RC is it? Yeah, just go low. I'm telling you. 2K, 2K, 6H is the way. Just go low. Every Eno player does it because it's so good. What an air grab. That was a gamer's air grab. Yeah, double overhead. That actually, could that have been triple overhead? Like, if you do jump dust there, does that hit overhead too? But yeah, this air throw, that was a real gamer's air throw. I'll tell you what. Into, I like this uh, jump S, jump, or close slash into jump H, air dash K. That was cool. That was really hard to see too. Well played in that first game too. We didn't really get to see Ram, Bully, Eno, and Neutral a lot, which, you know, you see that quite, I mean, I imagine that that's what you should expect. Oh no. You get that combo off of counter hit 2D. Yeah, this is going to be a wall break, right? Oh no, I guess not. Next hit will do it. Well, next hit kills. <laughs> oh no, this move is so good. So, yeah. This is so good, actually. That was a pretty rough round. I think actually Eno is really good because although her routes often don't break the walls, her supers are both like single hit breaks that you can do that are really good. Her command throw and also doing something like jump S into the other super. Really useful. Yeah, uh, dude, her command throw does mad damage, yeah. It's really good. I think it's honestly... Her supers are both really strong. I think she spends a lot of meter on super because of it, right? Both of them are really good. This series, the limelight that it deserves, makes me so happy. Honestly. That was good uh, chase on the jump. Although, ooh, gold burst. Although she still doesn't have the sword, which is pretty important here. It's back now, I guess, but losing the sword in a wall position like that, Ram players will always run forward to try to grab it, right? So if you can try to win the 50-50 of whether she jumps or stays on the ground, that's pretty important. Overhead. That was cool. I don't know that I've seen a Ram player do that before, actually. This 6P, it's like the sword, sword toss, fast RC into overhead. It was going to be plus on block anyway. Oh my God. Just win the 50-50 LMAO. If you can, it's nice. I, you know, I'm not saying you have to win it. I'm saying if you do win it, it's good. That was a good challenge. That 6P trade, uh, her 6P is pretty solid. And also 6P into Daro. I don't think we've seen Punish yet. So I think you just keep doing it if you're the Ram player. Because you think you're going to see the float into low. Never see the float into low. <laughs> yeah, if you're close in the corner, you can do dust with Ram. But in that position, he was far away. So I like the PRC overhead anyway. Confirm here. Yeah. It was going to be H dive and into hop and whatever. Wow, you threw the sword. Yeah, I like that burst to keep the corner and also because the sword's pretty far back. Uh, maybe. I was going to say maybe she'll go get it, but I guess she doesn't have to. High into like super immediately afterwards rather than high into low. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh no. That's a big drop. Nice. Don't don't you just get a guaranteed sweep here? Unless 
on purpose, you want the plus... No, nah, because she could have just interrupted this probably, right? Or backdash or something. I'm not sure. I think you can just sweep. There probably was a button here that was supposed to link into it. I feel like she can just get away. Yeah, her super is incredibly plus. I think both, you know, like I was saying, her supers are both very good. Uh, they have a lot of strong utility, either to get plus frames or immediate wall breaks into whatever. Double overhead. Uh-huh. Double overhead again. There's the challenge. This right here, if your opponent does commit to the hop, I like 6p. If it's grounded, I wonder if her 6p punishes it anyway. Probably, I would guess. Even if that wasn't the intention, can you say that was the intention? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if... I think that was probably a mistake, the raw super. Wow. I'm surprised that hit. Yeah, I was going to get the sword back here. Super. Damn! I did so much damage. Chip's a big problem. All right, you need like three mix-ups, right? Well, that's one thing about wake up BRC or like wake up YRC is you try to YRC and then uh, what's it called? They don't do anything, so you get BRC instead, and you're like, well, this is something that happens to Eno a lot. 2K, 2D does not reach at all ranges, and she doesn't have really a good cancel, right? Because like she can do 6P, it might not reach there either. And even off 6P, all you get is slash stroke. So, you know, that's how it goes. For the Octo Pimp gifts, so I'm hell yeah. I heard your game is modded to hell, Octo. Yeah, I like that burst early in the round. Nice 6P, man. That shit, yeah, that's a good button. That is a triple overhead. That's nasty as fuck. <laughs> We saw that earlier, right? I was asking, I wonder if this could be a triple overhead. It can be. That's really good. I figured. I was like, why not, right? Jump as air dash, K, dust. Oof. Oof. Go oh, I like empty throw. That was a really cool idea. Not going to combo, yeah. A little too far. I think the momentum... The momentum of the run there kind of dragged her away from the combo. Yeah, committed, committed. I think it was pretty safe to do that because the wall... Dive kick is also an overhead? No, her dive's in mid. Rab probably would have got super. Yeah, they probably would have died. Can't imagine if they were overheads. What the hell? Yeah, they're mid. Did she block that crouching? Let me look. No, she didn't. But it is, it is a mid. With Ram, two touches, oh, that, if you that is pretty bad, actually. I, that was kind of a weird burst. I guess was really fishing for the... Oh, that sucked. Was really fishing for the gold burst there. I like that FD also on Wake Up. To get a little bit more space so that you're not really forced into, like, air dash, air dash mix up. Yeah, no punish, but, I mean, had the hit after anyway. That's, um... Gold bursts are minus 10, and they can be pretty hard to punish for that reason. Oh, interesting. OTG stroke. Blocked it, but it's in the air, so... There's a few supers like that in this game where when you air block them, you're kind of just stuck. Like, Nagoryuki's is like that, too. Dad, yeah. Yeah, but for the purposes of, like, being a mix-up tool, it's not, which is important. Wow, that was a good jump out. And then the 6P. Her 6P is great. I think Ram has a, an awesome 6P. Yeah, I just sent it. Look at the risk, by the way. That is... That move is really good. Was that? 2 on 4 H in the air. No meter here for Ken Deep. I feel like makes this pretty rough. Because even if you get a hit in the corner, you know... Burst, yeah. Again, I think that... Uh, Yamini's done a really good job of adjusting, especially in these little scrambles. We've seen a lot of just, like, air dash forward or air dive forward here. And, like, yeah, there's been way, way more 6P. And it just seems really smart dead. Yeah, we got two apiece. I think, like, the adjustment is great. It's like, look, you are just going to this in the scramble. I'm just going to 6P it. Her 6P is good, I think. For our move quick, what up? It's very useful for situations like that. Oh, that's interesting. Through the up sword instead of that one. Not going to have meter. Yeah, I was going to say. So probably won't do the last one. The grounded version of that is pretty unsafe, yeah. Or MDL, what up? Isn't it like minus 7 on the ground? Or is it the air one that's more unsafe? 
I, I do this is EU I, ICFC. Yeah, we're gonna watch NA next. I'm just gonna do a true string into a lot, like James was saying. That's how you beat it. Uh, and not, many not the Rekka. I'm talking about the um, this, this um, what was the move she did? The two and four H, the overhead. All the meter. Oh no! Oh, I think that was a burst bait. Nice. Uh, minus three. The air one is the one that's more yeah, negative, right? It's like minus six or seven. Like you've got the dust. Just go yeah. for the combo. Like, don't worry if they burst. Man, the the everybody's really like fishing like for gold bursts, huh? They really just want the meter. Anyway. That's so interesting to me. I feel like EU. I've seen that way more in this match than like any other match. Through the round, I mean, it was a, a big gamble. You're already down a lot of life anyway, so just tried to like bait the burst, cause like fuck it, right? I might as well give it a go. Yeah. I feel like giving up the gold burst is so interesting. You really just kind of, I don't know. You really just kind of like all in on this gold burst idea, which could be good, but I think saving it for an actual hit makes sense. There are places where gold burst, gold burst makes sense. But. Nice. I ha we haven't seen that too much. Like the, the S strokes and like six H there. Great. Out of the corner. I thought that was actually going to hit her. I actually like that we're seeing a little bit more chemical love. I kind of want to see more chemical love and grounded stroke. I feel like we've seen so much uh, air approach. Oh no, the risk. No combo though. Yeah. The up back has been a really big issue there. There's a stroke. I want to see more stroke. That's going to hit. Ooh. That was a cool little mix up attempt. Into the corner, oh, again. Oh, man, these gold bursts. It, it might be okay, though, here, because the sword's separated. Yeah. Oh, that almost hit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like this this attempt here. Try to do, like, maybe air dash S into, what's it called? Into chemical love or something. But I like this stroke. I think I think that this is guaranteed. I don't remember. Ta I think 5K is not, but 2K is. Yeah, there was a lot of lows that Ken Deep was doing, but then... The RAM player started to FD, so, you know, if you're not close, like, you're not point blank, the low is much worse because you can't do 2K6H, right? You just get 2K2D. Not as bad. And so, because of the FDing of that, the RAM player was able to up back way more and then able to 6P because you want to chase up back, so you want to jump, so you're 6Ping. And then if you're like, okay, well, instead I'll try to, you know, do this ground thing. Like, you're too far away, and then the RAM player up back, so... It was a good defensive adjustment, but at the same time, it was like, man. In the air, her up back options are so good. Up back H is just like, help.